You are a frozen caramel slice. You are very yummy. But unfortunately today, friends, my heart is actually broken. My friend Chris, our friend Chris, he just lost a million dollars to a phishing attack. Yes, one million American dollars. So what do we do from now? I'm going to tell you what happened. It was through a phishing attack. He wasn't paying attention. And I want you to know in crypto, man, you can lose your money in two seconds. Everyone's trying to rug you. Everyone's trying to grift you. People are saying this thing's going to last forever. It won't. Everyone's dumping on you. Everyone's doing all these. It's the wild, wild west. Now, unfortunately, what happened, we even have the transaction. It's very, very unfortunate. So uh, basically, he he clicked on one of these like random phantom Twitter links. So that's the first thing as well. He saw like something on Twitter and it was like a phantom. It was, it was a fake username. So friends, you got to really be careful clicking on anything. Always check the username. Always. Luckily for me, I got like trolled by fake username posts and people will be like, oh, I never checked the username. So now instead of like everybody laughing at me, I'm like, oh, I better check the usernames for stuff. Firstly, don't vote for anything. Every airdrop's a scam. Okay, yes, we have something beautiful like gophers and party um, and, and dip catcher and stuff, but just assume 99% of the time it's all a scam. Let everybody else click in. Let everybody else click in and just chill out and wait. Also, you got to use multiple wallets. That's very important. He was using a ledger. A hardware wallet. Now, your the probability that you escape with danger, it's higher if you use a hardware wallet because you click on something and you know, oh, I've got to confirm something and you can't just click straight away. You have to go to your actual like device and go, what am I actually authorizing? And you actually have to think about it for another second or two. But if you just go click, 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 sign, sign, accept, it's over. It's over. It's gone. Your money's gone in two seconds. Very scary. Okay, so... Unfortunately, lost a million dollars. What I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to tell you what I would do if I was him. I've sent him some videos, but I'll just explain it to you how I would swing for the fences here. Okay, so he was using the cold wallet and it still wasn't enough. Why? He had lack of sleep. Right, okay, so this is why I'm speechless. Okay, lack of sleep. This is what he's just clicking around. Now, this is the disgusting thing what these scamming subhuman filth cockroach losers do is it was a phantom vote. But it made him switch to Polygon. He didn't think about it. He just switched network. He switched to Polygon. And on Polygon, it got him to accept something. And what he don't know is it drained the whole wallet. And then after it's drained, it it the scammers try to get you to move networks. And he, he moved networks to Ethereum. He accepted that, drained. And then he realized what was on. So they're just trying to move to every single chain. They're trying to move to every single type of um every chain drain, every chain drain to make it. And then he realized what was going on. It's basically gone so it was a one one million dollars gone now these fake scammers they're everywhere and you really got to be careful and if you just have messages from him basically saying you know he admits he goes i was silly to be honest after all these years i lose it at the start of a massive bull run now i've spoken to him i think he's got like 100k back he just no, I hate to say it, but he started leverage trading. He made like six grand back, hundred. But just friends, don't don't do this leverage trading, Bitcoin, Ethereum stuff. You got to you got to smack the altcoins. That's what you got to do. You can't leverage trading. You're not going to make it back making like four hundred thousand decisions over time on av on average. Hope you do, but it's just tending up. Like the best thing to do is just to buy these undervalued altcoins and pay for the alt season. So here he is. He's saying thanks, Sony. I appreciate it. I was buying Ethereum at eighty bucks. This is why I managed to get my stack up to that amount. I was mainly just sitting on what I had through this bull market. Now, if I want to make it, I'm going to have to do it, make up a lot of work. So as you can see, he's participated in a lot of altcoins here and there, Olympus Dow, all these other things that he participated in and basically helped bring up his stack. Now, what I've done is as a friend, as an actual friend, I'm like, hmm, what would I do if I lost a million bucks right now and I had to make it back and I had vengeance? It's, it's, not, it's not the million bucks. So who cares about a million bucks? I'm just telling you like, okay, what vengeance what would i do how would i get my pound of flesh now here's the thing you gotta get your pound of flesh from the market how are you gonna get your pound of flesh for the market and what i've done is i basically said well you're gonna have to punt as always but you have to punt really hard and not punt silly don't open up buy bit leverage trading exchange stuff but i would just have i would do this this is what i would do swinging for the fences i would assume okay let's go back DeFi season 2020 altcoins bottomed out august 2019 and they ran for exactly 12 months nine months of going up three months explosion and that's when every, everyone said it's just getting started it's just getting started that was actually the end okay so we bottomed out when corrupt chairman gary gensler said all altcoins are securities we've been going up for nine months 
So <clears throat> I would be turbo long altcoins. Obviously, I told him, go look, man, be whatever coin you want. Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, get all the residual altcoins, get all the leverage altcoins, Icosa, Hedron, Zen, Col whatever he's, if Chris is watching this, he probably won't, but whatever. That's what I'll tell you. I'll just get everything, just get them all, and then just go, please, 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 please. Just hope all these continue. That's what it is, okay? We have the anxiety of the bull market. That's what we want to see. So I will just pray and play for the final three months to zip up and maybe stars align and you get an actual US Fed rate cut in June and that's actually the top. So that's what I would do. But if they took so much pounds of flesh from me, I'm going to take it back from them, okay? I'm not rolling over and dying. I'm going to win after this. That's what I will do. So what I would actually do is, I'm like, well, all into stable coins. I bet I'd get greedy like that. All into stable coins. That's, you never know. What if, what if Coinbase hits number one rank app? Imagine it hits it, friends. So I'd get all that in stable coins and then... I'd buy Bitcoin on its first red monthly candle. It's crash. So I'm going to show you what it's actually done before. Now, here's the thing. You know, you can't get this perfect, but in the last, this is why it's a bit crazy, friends. See, many people are saying we're around here after the Bitcoin halvening, and technically we're still before the Bitcoin halvening. So we're somewhere around here. Okay, equal time. So there's going to be some sort of correction. Now, traditionally, Bitcoin... By the time it's halvening is done, it's around, it's, this This was a zombie virus, right? Minus 50% collapse. But if you go to the ones beforehand, Bitcoin did a minus 38, 39% collapse. So I don't know what would happen, but let's say altcoins have a season up here. Now we're in June. And let's say Bitcoin goes down. I don't know how long it's going to go. It could go down here or go down here or go, we don't know. But I would just wait, wait for the blood. Wait for the blood, I'd be, and then I'll, I'd bid back all, all Bitcoin. Okay, you know what? Screw it. You're doing the four-year cycle. You just can all go suck a fat one. That's what I would do. Stable coins. Now, you shouldn't do this at home. Don't do this at home because if you get it wrong, it's game over because that means all coins keep going up. You miss out. So <clears throat> you'd make your money in all coins. So he's got 100K. If I were him, I'd go, oh, I'll throw it around here. Yeah, post chain, post six, and next. Imagine they could... And they could get like a four or five X in the next couple of months. You're really halfway there. But I don't know, he's not a believer. He probably thinks Richard Hart's a total scammer. Yeah, you know, see all these people, friends, they're not gonna listen now when the opportunity is the most. Because they're just like, ah, oh, look at you. You're a, you're an idiot. You're a scammer. I'm like, no, bro, I just don't show you my portfolio because well, who the hell are you? I'm not showing you anything. I don't need to prove anything to you. Like just, you know what I mean? But I'm just just being honest with you guys. I, I don't have to prove anything. I'm like, oh, I have the right way. No, 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 I'm gonna win without you. Okay, so it is what it is. I'd allocate top of that mania. Okay, you're not going to sell the top. But when the mania is here, get out. And then I would wait. And I would bid, just bid Bitcoin 10 or 20% lower from its top. Okay, even though you'd have to get the exact top. You'd have to get it. So let, let's say, let's even say Bitcoin and it goes back down to like literally 54K. Okay, because every dollar counts. You're back in Bitcoin. Literally, it comes back down. You're back in Bitcoin. And then you ride it up here you deploy back to the alts. So get your Bitcoin here. Here's the funny part. You make, let's say Bitcoin from here, you make like 70% here. Now it's funny, like, oh, 70% sucks. Yeah, but it, you're trying to crawl quickly to a million dollars. So that's why every everything amount, everything uh, matters a lot when it comes to that. So he could have like a 500K, he bids Bitcoin back, and then Bitcoin maybe by the time, what I'm doing is it does, it does an effective rotation, maybe 50%. Because remember, as Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins are still moving up with it. It's just that Bitcoin's going up more. Maybe Bitcoin's up 75%, but the altcoins are only up 50% as Bitcoin goes to the all-time high because they can't catch it. So, you, so <clears throat> when you rotate out of your Bitcoin into altcoins, you're buying them higher. For example, let's say Hex is like 10 cents at that point. Bitcoin breaks the all-time high. Now Hex is like 13 cents, right? You can't, you're not buying uh, Hex back at 10 cents. You're buying it at 13. So that's why I've done an effective raise of like 50%. So you're going to have your 100K, now it's 500K, and now you're actually going to get that times 1.5. Now you're up to 750K. I mean, it's easy. You can actually make it back. You can actually make it back with 100K. It's not, not hard at all. But that's, it's a gift, right? You have these things undervalued, still haven't moved. What if all these coins were already repriced in the next 30, 69 days? Then you have to gamble even harder. That's what I would do personally. So at that rotation, I just, I'd, I'd start deploying all the altcoins. But I also told in my video, look, you can't, you can't do this like, you have to pay attention, of course. You have to be here every day. You have to have all the charts up. You've got to watch Pulse BTC, Pulse X BTC, Hex BTC. You just got to have all the charts up. You don't have to watch them all the time, but just have them on a weekly. But you, you got to know. 
You got to know because as Bitcoin stretches, if this four-year cycle repeats, these things are crashing. You, at some point, right, Bitcoin's going to start to distribute. Okay, let's draw it actually. At some point up here, see, I don't know where it's going to land, friends. I hope Bitcoin's like freaking 200K. I'm just doing the worst case. At some point, Bitcoin starts to distribute. And as it's distributing, altcoins are doing this. Okay, so you're gambling when it's going to stop. So the, the goal is not to be in Bitcoin until it distributes because the moment it distributes, altcoins start screaming. So you have to get out before it distributes. But it is what it is. You just maybe just sell Bitcoin higher. It's okay to be a bit early, but it doesn't really matter. That's how you're basically like bunny hopping yourself along the way. Now, we're probably going to do that ourselves. It's just I wouldn't go all in on this idea because what if you get out and what if Bitcoin never fuels you on the bid? Now you're scrambling with your whole portfolio. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen. What if the altcoins that you want to buy start going up? You, you can't think with the rational mind. Unless you're like, oh, well, that pissed me off. Still got this other stuff still happening. So those are the types of things I would be doing. I've also got a question here from Mr. Cryptoids. He says, I'm a bit confused by this. He goes, when you have a Trezor and you're able to open up multiple wallets on a single seed with a single passphrase, aren't all those wallets also connected together? I go, yes, I just got to confirm. Okay, so increase the scenario. He didn't lose his seed phrase. It's just he wasn't paying attention. He authorized an evil website. He said, hey, you are free to spend whatever ETH you want out of my wallet. That's what he basically gave authorized access to. And they go, oh, I can send, I can spend whatever I want. Sweet, I'm going to grab all your Ethereum. So the seed phrase was not compromised. But that's why I've replied to Mr. Cryptoid just to saying as well that like, yes, in best practice, friends, you bet you should have multiple cold wallets. You should have a deep storage, doesn't touch it just in case because... If you lose your seed phrase, everything's gone. But you don't even have to lose your seed phrase. You can just authorize an evil website and they, because they're saying, hey, we want to approve this spending. You're giving them approval spending. Now, this is what happened to my friend as well. One of my friends, remember, uh, with Hex. Like, we, luck, thank God. Friends, oh, I'm so happy with Dilly. Oh, Dilly. Friends, you know how much money I saved Dilly? Oh, my gosh. Dilly, luckily, he went online. He checked because Gophers was doing the party airdrop. He checked it, and luckily he checked it because he noticed his hex was missing. His hex was missing, and we searched everywhere. And I ended up finding out he's given like 10 websites access to his hex. So we went to revoke.cash, this website, okay? Revoke.cash, friends, in the top left, if you can see it here, okay? Revoke, revoke.cash. You see that website? Yes, and you go here, and you will... You can click through, get started, okay? And you can basically, you will be able to see all your addresses, see, search your account, actually search someone else's account, put their address in, and it will just show you the list of everything. And on the right-hand side, you'll be able to go, hey, remove access here and there. Now, of course, Uniswap safe, one inch is safe, but because they're like, you know, obviously vetted, but better be safe than sorry, man. So that's basically what happens in this scenario. You've given evil access. You said, hey, you basically given someone, yes, free access. Hey, you can spend whatever you want but they don't have your full seed phrase. So if you revoke that, that's what Dilly did. If he revoked it, that's okay. They can't do anything anymore. It was a bad click. But also you still got to be really be careful, friends. You know, your phone's not fully safe, man. How do you know there's no bug on like MetaMask on the phone? I don't trust the phone at all with MetaMask. I barely trust MetaMask as well. Compromised bug eaters. There's no way I trust Apple. Friends, they're spying on like billionaires jerking it off in the bathroom with all the like the most sad, the Israeli government here and there. Like who's to know that they haven't got freaking a way to backdoor MetaMask on your or your phone? I just, I just don't want it. MetaMask shows the freaking seed phrase on your phone. I don't like it. I don't want to touch anything with it. Get rid of that junk. But I know a lot of you guys, you're going to have, you need that hot wallet because a lot of you guys are out and I'll say, hey, get into something and you aren't going to be home for eight hours and you just want to ape in. So it's okay to have a hot wallet there. Just don't have it. Don't connect your cold wallet or anything onto your phone um, MetaMask you know, for your phone to access. So that's the distinction, right? Losing your seed phrase, ultimate death. Ultimate, that's that finished. You're giving your seed phrase away, friends, you got to remove everything today. Today. All right? Today. Every chain, every wallet, everything. If, you, if your seed phrase has been compromised. Um, also, if you wanted to be super safe, just to let you know, this is like advanced. When you have like a, when you have a wallet, you can have the different Merkle tree, right? So you can have like the first address, the second you can generate. If you, in your first address, if you just leave like 500 bucks or a thousand dollars or something in ETH, okay, and you don't keep your stuff in there, but keep everything in like the second one or the third one or the fourth one, what will happen is you increase the probability that the hacker 
they'll just take from the first wallet because they'll think they've drained $1,000. But you are actually buried down and it actually gives you some time. Okay, but this is more advanced stuff. I know we've got the bull market. This is the type of stuff you worry about later on. So this is just giving you some ideas to do things like that. Obviously, the best thing to do is obviously don't get, don't lose your seed phase. But losing seed phase, sudden death. If someone sees those words, not worth it. Not worth it. Move it. Start moving it immediately. Don't take the risk, okay? Use revoke.cash. Go through, remove everything. It's going to get more expensive to revoke on Ethereum and stuff. But also another thing, if, if something has compromised you on Polygon, they can't steal it from Ethereum. It's a different network. Just something to you know. Okay, you. That's why this website with Chris, it got him to freaking switch networks automatically in the website. Hey, switch network. Okay, get approved. Switch network approved. Switch network. So, so if you have like done bad things on like Binance chain, for example, and like you know some um, scammer has taken like your four hundred dollars there, they don't have access to your to on your, for your revoking um, approvals on on Ethereum or the other chains, but. But you don't want to take that chance. You don't want to be in that chance, friends. Everybody fiddling around with your wallet, you can't do that, man. It's like have, get everyone having access to your safe, okay? So the best thing to do, obviously, is your seed phrase. No one's got to get it. You should have multiple. You really should have multiple. And then don't play around with it, friends. Don't play around with it. Pretend you're out in a shopping center and it's your willy, okay? You don't want to play with your willy. Everyone's looking at you. You can't. You're out in a shopping center. You get arrested, okay? You can't do this. So <clears throat> this type of stuff, it's really, really important because... <sighs> In the bear market before, okay, uh, prices were still low. You can ape back in. Get a credit card loan. Do everything super aggressive, okay? But now, the opportunity cost is coming. That's why you've got to be super, super, super careful. Multiple wallets, multiple ledgers. Don't go around clicking to stuff. There are no free things here and there. There are none, man. Everything that you need to make money on is literally freaking on-chain. That's it. Using 1H or using CalSwap, using the on-chain stuff just to trade in and trade out using Dex Screener, these simple stuff. That's where all the money is. All these people hunting these airdrops or the other things, they think they're going to get like the pot at the end of the rainbow. Good luck to them. There's all the Jeets who are doing it with them as well, trying to spam it as well. Okay, so everything you need is there, friends, please. If you are in this unfortunate situation as well, I don't know what to say. Like you just, you're going to have to go really turbo hard and you have to have to try bink it. Maybe like you have a faith, right? If Davy Soy Hoffman could cry at the bottom of the bear market, and give us our signal. Maybe something's gonna appear at the top. A th few things are gonna appear. Like, wow, this is like really extreme euphoria. Okay, if we're blessed and lucky, then Coinbase will hit rank one in like May or June, then sink out, and then Coinbase hits rank one again, like next year April, and it does it again, and that's like our double bubble if we're lucky. Because it did it twice in 2021. It hit rank one in April, and then it hit rank one in October, okay, so October 2021, so literally Coinbase rank, so it actually worked twice, even though it was a complacency rally, it wasn't Dogecoin mania at the end of the year, crazy, it still hit it, that's something to think about, even though 90% of the altcoins had topped out in 2021, in April, at the beginning of the year, they had still topped out, so just to show you, that's it, Coinbase, number one here, rank, top, Number one here as well, bank. Okay, just to tell you. And this was a complacency rally. So Do Dogecoin mania was here. So Doge's chart looked like this. And then it actually went like that and just died, okay? That was like the Elon Musk part around in May here. And this was a complacency rally. This was only 10% of coins, okay? <clears throat> and you also got to wonder about what happens next. Someone also said to me, it's good to question and be skeptical. They said, well... We have adoption faster now. It's not going to work this time. So firstly, I'm like, yes, people are already doubting this. This is what I want to see, friends. I love seeing. I'm like, well, this indicator, I'm thinking, well, it's so obvious. Everybody's going to believe it, right? I've already got people doubting it. I'm like, beautiful. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know, but it's just something to keep in mind of. So I want to tell you, back in 2017, there was no DeFi. There were no NFTs. There was no stable coins. There was no nothing. And Coinbase hit number one here. All right. And then it was the end of the bull market. Okay, that that's important. Wow, you hit number one in December of 2017 and you marked the top as well. Back when, friends, we didn't have this DeFi, you didn't have multiple chains, you didn't have uh, bridging and airdrops. You didn't have any of these. It was just full on dentist coins, scams, dragon chain, all these other garbage. Okay, that's all you had. And Ethereum with the empty chain, crypto kitty stuff. That's all you had and it still did it. The guy with the Pikachu hat is on your side. Make sure you like, subscribe, bell button, I'll catch you soon.